What is up, my fellow ninja Skylink Ninja here? We're playing more Trucker Joe. I don't know why I had to sing that one, but is volume on? Yeah. So the for okay, so they've added some new things. So they've added consumption liters per kilom per certain kilometer. So they used to only have horsepower, but now they have consumption per kilometer. And it seems like the higher up you go, the higher consumption rate they have per kilometer. Which is bad, I guess. So, hey, they added a new truck, too. 25 liters per 100 kilometers. And it's a 480 horsepower. Really, that's almost as good as this. The Peter Bird, and it has a hell of a lot less liters per kilometer. That's nice. Actually, that's probably the first truck I'm going to buy. <sighs> Besides my little shitty one right here. Uh, so yeah, we're playing Trick or Drew. It's new. They've added a lot of new stuff. So, I'm just going to play through the game. I've played a little bit of it. Done a bit here, and that's about it. Just kind of getting everything set up. Um, so, yeah. I forgot that you could do this stuff. It was like upgrades or like potential upgrade things you can kind of do nowadays. So, also, please, if you watch my video, look, watch some of my older videos from like three plus months ago. So, I really want you guys to watch that stuff. And I, after you guys watch the older one, I want you to watch the newer stuff here, because you're already watching it. But I want you to tell me how the sound sounds. I'm sorry for the air conditioner. If you can hear it, my phone overheated earlier and kind of restarted <laughs> After I got done playing that mining game, that mining game just fucking killed my phone. So. So, yeah. So, I want. Well, if someone watches this, please go back and watch one of my older videos and please tell me. And please tell me how. If the sound quality is any better. Because I know that my Bluetooth speaker that I have, the sound quality is better and it's farther away. So I'm sure now you can hear me better a little bit. Um, so that's a thing. So I just want to know if the quality is any better with that one. Um, I'm probably going to have to fuck around with the settings and screen in my AZ screen recorder. Because I noticed that it has, I think it has problems again with uh, with quality. So I'm going to look into that a bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to look into that, and then... They also moved some stuff around. They reskinned a lot of this stuff. Or they they moved it and reskinned it, and I don't know what the hell these do. I don't know what the pluses do. Oh, I remember what the pluses are for. I remember what those are for. So you can add the pluses to them. Right? And they allow you to make more cars or they can hold more pieces or something. So, like, here's the thing. They can only hold 50 tons worth of stuff. And when you're out of that, you're out of it. I mean, 50 tons isn't bad. It's not hard. I mean, it, it's 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 kind of hard to use up those 50 tons. <clears throat> on coal, it isn't that hard, because just going back and forth, it's so close. But a lot of the other things, like wood or iron and planks, like actual, like, steel, like, using up all 50 steel, like, completely filling it and using it all up and stuff, like, the, like I said, yeah, the stuff that's really hard to use up is the stuff that's really far away, so, like, wood... 
wood and like sand is two really difficult items to run out of. Because by, by the time you go all the way across and you come back, you pretty much have the same amount again. So it's really hard to run out of it. But they now made it to where you can upgrade it. To where now you'll never run out of it. Or something like that. So you can carry like a hundred more instead. And then some companies like this steel one, it'll stop producing steel at like 40 tons worth of it. Or 50 tons, I'm not really sure how many tons it is, but they'll stop producing it. So now I can upgrade them to where they'll produce more, and then I can do it to where they produce them quicker, I think, for extra money. Like, I invest money in them, and it's a permanent upgrade. I think that's how it works. I don't know. Let's see, though. We'll see, though, after we get some gas. We get just regular cheap diesel. Yeah, that gas run about ran me ass dry. <laughs> um... See, I think we're going to start trying to work on upgrading stuff as quickly as possible. This might be a longer episode. This might be like a... I'm not going to make it more than, I think, 40 minutes. Because 40 minutes takes a while to upload. Even with 4G LTE, it still, you know, it still takes a long time. Even when I get, like, 11 upload speed. Just kidding. That's for my Wi-Fi hotspot. That's not what my phone gets, but... If I click on it, I think, yeah, I can increase, right, click, so if I click this, you want to upgrade the production time, yeah, and then I can upgrade the, upgrade the capacity, yeah, that's cool, but that's also expensive. So, let's start looking at this shit, which one is which, what is this, that's the quarry, funnily enough, we need the quarry, um, What else is there? There's the concrete factory. I never got into the concrete stuff yet, so we need the limestone factory first. Where's the limestone factory? That's the oil refinery. No, we need the limestone. That's the limestone, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we need to get the quarry up first. The quarry is really the first one you can, you have to build, because the rest of it requires... Well, it's good for oil. But the rest of them really require stuff you don't have yet. So cement. What's the difference between cement and concrete? Oh yeah, cement is whatever that is. Plastic, yeah, and then anything plastic. So, so pretty much you need the quarry in order to do anything. I mean, you can get you can get the uh, the gas, the oil refinery, without it. But <clears throat> but the limestone factory you need for pretty much everything else. So we're gonna start on the wheel loader, I think. How do we want to do this? Because iron's getting made. Do we have a wheel loader yet? We have a ton of iron in there. Holy shit. Um, I think we're going to go grab wood. So we're going to grab wood. We're going to drop it off. The wood. We're going to drop it off at the plank factory. Then we're going to grab all the planks they have. Then we're going to make a stop by the, uh, the oil. Not the oil. The, uh, the one for, um... I forget, the coal factory, the coal factory. We're going to stop by the coal factory, I think. And get ourselves coal. It depends, though. So so yeah, fuel consumption is mean on this game. Oop. Oop. I still drop the wood in all funny sometimes. So then... Oh, we're going to need sand, too. Shit. Okay, so we're going to drop off the wood. We're going to get as many planks as we can. Then we're going to get sand. That seems like it'll work pretty good. Um, that's what we'll work with. 
only 10 minutes in, I'm making a lot of progress. I love how I got Trucker Joe just because I thought it was cool looking, and now it's become like an iconic thing on my channel. So this is going to be the Trucker Joe reboot. Um, I'll actually try it for the Trucker Joe series now, for the stuff that's coming up now, I'll try to put them in a playlist. I'll, I'll do like a season one, a season two, a thing like that. Um, cause, cause like I said, guys, right now I'm only on mobile, so playlists are still kind of odd to make, and I really don't want to make them backwards, you know, to where like the last video was the first video, cause I see some playlists like that, and I hope that's not due to like mobile stuff, but you never really know. Shut up, DU. How high is my, how is my temperature high? Oh, it just gets a little warm while playing Trucker Joe. Oh, well, I mean, it is a physics. It is pretty much a physics game. Give me those sweet, tasty boards of justice. Awesome, and there should be no ads, so we're gonna go grab sand. Then we'll grab coal. So I already have $40,000. It seems like money is a lot easier to make in this game now than it was. I remember it used to be really hard to make money. Um, another thing, guys, when I get my laptop, if I ever get it, when I ever get it. Hey, guys. I want you guys to look forward to, um, you guys are going to look forward to a lot of Euro Truck. I'm going to be playing the hell out of Euro Truck. I just love that game, so. So we have a lot of boards and we have a lot of sand. I don't think it's quite even. That's the only bad thing about doing it like this, combining two troops into one. It's a lot easier on gas, but the problem is the numbers, the numbers here, get really uneven up at the top. The numbers do. And that's like an ADHD thing, man. It, it will drive some people crazy. Like the numbers aren't the same. They aren't even, and they'll just have a heart attack over it, but for me, I guess it's alright. It just kind of, it kind of irritates me as well, it's kind of like, eh, it's not even, but it's not the end of the fucking world. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, now we're going to take this up to the other factory over here to make the end loaders. To make the end loader. I don't have enough glass to make it yet, but I'll deliver it so at least it gives me some more money. And then I'll backtrack and get the coal. And then after that happens, I can backtrack kind of again to get some of the stuff for the factory. And then once I deliver stuff to the factory that I'm working on, I can bring more glass to the end loader place. Actually, I think I do have enough. Cause, no, because I think it takes 24 glass. Not, yeah, 25. I don't think I have quite enough. I think I only have 20? It may have changed it to where it's different, but but I don't know. So 
So we're going to get gas again. This is fun. This one, you definitely have to fuel up a lot more. Um, what does this factory make? It makes TNT. What the f Oh, that's, that's scary. Also, you can change your trailer from here. That's so cool. It's so convenient. The only problem with that is that if you change it, while you have stuff in it, you kind of fucked yourself. But, it's whatever. So we're going to bring, yeah, we're going to bring coal down there to that plant. And what plant are we working on building first? The quarry. So we'll bring sand probably next. So I mean the sand is already replenished. So it's not like guaranteed I didn't make a ton of, ton of trips here and there and here and there. But still it's not like you know, it's not like it takes a whole bunch. Um So next thing I'd kind of like to get a new truck, but I really don't want to spend a ton of money on a new truck. Um I know I'm going to have to get a new truck. I'm going to buy the last one just because it's the most fuel efficient. For how much horsepower it has. It is literally the most fuel efficient for the horsepower. And I don't need something. I don't need really more than 500 horsepower. So. So I'm going to buy the fuel efficient one. And then I'll start working on different trailers and stuff. So. Because I really do need the horsepower one before I can upgrade this trailer. And upgrading my cabin to carry more gas is just kind of a, a waste of time. Considering I know that I'm going to get a new truck as soon as possible. It's not worth putting the money in when I'm not going to keep it. But once I get the fuel efficient one, you know, I mean, I'll put, I'll put fucking as much money in it to where I get like 2,000 liters worth of gas. And I'll be happy with that. There we go. So I delivered that. Ding. So I think I'm just going to get the truck as soon as possible. Now my skin. So. Just look at it this way. I'm going to need the truck to carry some of the heavier stuff anyway. So it's best just to go get this, get the tr new truck first. Um, and then we'll upgrade the trailer so I can carry more weight. So after this haul, we're going to look at the truck. See how expensive it is, because I already forgot how expensive it is. And we'll go from there, because I, I have enough to make two end loaders. I only need one for excavation purposes, I think. And then I think I need two for, um... I think I need two for the other place. We'll fuel up again. Yeah, I think that's all it needs. I think that's what it needs is 10. So, where do, they, where do they need the sand? Right here. Oh, shit, I do need two end loaders. Never mind. End loaders. Ugh, I don't know anymore. 
Come on, go. Faster, you bitch. Faster. So yeah, so your truck is going to be thing as soon as I can play it. That's probably going to be the very first game that I do play at PC. Besides, what is it? Civilization. If I can do it on my, if I can play it on my laptop, that's going to be awesome. So, I'm just hoping that I can. So, so, so yeah guys, so we're halfway through this video. Not bad, I've gotten a pretty decent start with everything. We're going to go back and check out the uh, the truck. The one that I want. How long twins of is it? It's a $300,000 truck. And there are trucks way cheaper than that with a lot more horsepower. The thing is, I don't care for the horsepower. So my truck only has about 300 horsepower. That's not enough. And what I've noticed is that 500 is roughly enough what you need for everything. So I only have 100,000. So this is going to be a long trip. See, and it tells you what it carries. There's a meat plant now, too. I forgot about that. Um, This, tr tr this trawl whole thing, it carries I have noticed that it carries the transformers and concrete blocks now. Concrete pieces. These carry cars. These carry cement. These carry concrete blocks. This carries pigs. And this looks like gold bars. So, it looks like there's going to be another update. Soon, which will allow, allow you to make gold and stuff. Um, so, I'm looking forward to that. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm just looking around the map and figuring out what I need to do. Um, getting coal is going to be first priority. Because we're about to, our power plant's about to run out of coal. Uh, this is funny. I love how I'm playing this game and there's so many things wrong with it. With it. Like, we're polluting the earth because we're having a coal plant. <laughs> And I'm environmental. I'm in an environmental science class, so in my college, that's great. So, oh man, this is fun. Fuck me. Yeah, we're gonna do pretty much a forty-minute episode, I think. Um, and then this is gonna be trucking. I wanted to do mining Mondays, mining Mondays, but that doesn't work. So. Well, the game didn't work very well, so I'll upload Trucker Joe today, which is Friday, by the way, guys. Um, I think it's the 9th today or something, the 8th or the 9th or some shit. I don't know. I don't care what day it is. I don't know. My days are so ass-backwards. Um, so, I'm gonna... If, if you watch my other video, my Doug Life 1, you might watch that, you might not. You know, because not... not not a single video is going to be for everyone, so... That's why I'm sorry for you guys who watch all my content, because I overlap shit a lot. I know I do. I know I overlap... Sh lap points and stuff. I fuck ton. But it's because every video is not for one person. I mean, not, not a single video is for everyone. That's what I meant. I got that backwards. Um... <laughs> So, live commentary. Yay! <laughs> yeah, guys, even when I do get a PC, I don't plan on doing a lot of editing. Um, if a game is super long or something, or if it's just... You know what I mean? If it's just a cute little game like this... Probably not Truck or Joe, but if it's just a game like that, and I and I keep dying at one point or something, I'll show one of my deaths. And I'll just edit out the rest of them. Just because that's how I roll. I tend to stick to more... Natural live commentary. And I keep it that way more because here's the re reason. I'll edit if I need to edit, but otherwise I'm not going to spend time editing it. Just That's just how I am. Oh, I thought one of these places made gold. No, there's no place that makes gold. 
How much is for sure? For for sure. Um. So we're gonna go grab the glass, I guess. Not even enough fucking glass. It takes a long time to climb the ranks in this game. <laughs> it takes a long time. So yeah. So I will overlap points a lot. So like I said, I'm gonna try to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It might not happen. So just be aware of that, mainly because I don't have anything to fill my Mondays with. So, and my weekends are pretty much full with other things, either I'm, practice, I'm practicing driving, or I'm going to have a friend over, or I'm hanging out with my brother doing stuff with him, and it's just a, it's just a lot of work. It's not a lot of work, it's just there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. And then my, then my computer class, like, not my computer class, but my math class, is like, well, yeah, we expect you to work an hour or two outside of class if you really want to pass. And I looked at him, I was like, I'm only like, I'm only like, because see, look, look, this is how my math class works. There's different modules, right? And every module has, like, sub-modules in it, right? Which are just key, key points that you have to do. So... So, like, my module right now is all about percentages. So, like, one of the main points of percentages is is for money purposes, like calculating interest and commission fees. And then another point of it is converting between decimals and fractions and percentages. And that's just the different key points. Now, I'm, I'm only two key points in a progress check behind. So, every two... So, the first two mini modules there's after you complete those two there's a progress check which is like a little test to see if you're really doing it or not so then once you complete that then you move on to usually three more mini modules and another progress check and then the post test so right now I'm pretty much on the post test and this weekend we should have completed the um the progress check for the next module, which is module 8. I'm still stuck on module 7, but I'm about to do the the post-test. So the next thing for this week is going to be finishing the next progress check. Most likely, it's going to be for the end of this week. Well, this starting week. And I can't really do a lot of that work outside of home. So when my teacher's new, he this is his second year here, and this and now that it's his second year, they changed the math class around a lot. So all I have to do is complete module ten in order to pass the class for so financial aid will be happy. By the way, my I'm gonna talk to you guys about something right now. So the school system, financial aid and all them, it's great because I'm kind of getting fucked because uh, they should have brought me my money now, and I'm already fa I'm already like failing two of my classes. Because the first one, I don't have time to work on my class. Like, one of them, I have to work on a speech. I don't have time to work on a speech. Because I only get, like, four hours outside of class when I'm at the school itself, when I'm at the campus. I only get, like, four hours outside of classes. I'm stuck there for 12 hours for two days a week. That's 24 hours a week I'm stuck there. So, now here's the thing. I only have, like, four hours outside of classes. Right, and I'm supposed to try to work on my math to catch up my math, so I'm not be I'm behind. And I also have to try to work on a speech. You know how hard it is to fucking research a speech, and the and my teacher wants me to have a reference from the book. Right, it's a public speaking book. What the fuck am I gonna tie in to video games? Um, cause he's like, all you really need to do is just tie tie in a couple words or a phrase, and I'm like. Fuck, what am I going to do? So I'm thinking that I'm going to take my video game speech. Because it's an informative speech. So I'm going to take it and make it to where I'm going to use a book, a word from the book. Stressful. And I'll just I'll just mark a page and told him I used the word stressful from the book. Because he just wants something out of the book. Just even a single fucking word he'll be happy with. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. Because I figured I had to find something that tied directly to it. He's like, no, you have to cite something from the book, a word even. And I was like, wow. So, and then we had a speech due yesterday, and I didn't fucking know about it. I didn't know we had to, we had to do it yesterday. 
Um, and then another thing too is like I can't check my email and stuff when I'm when I'm not at the school because my phone doesn't work very good for checking email and trying to do all that stuff. So it's like. It's like everything right now has kind of sent me up to fail. My financial aid still doesn't come in. I'm, al- I'm almost week four of my classes. Next week, it's going to be week four, and I still don't have my mother back in financial aid. And I accepted a Pell Grant. Still haven't heard nothing from that. And, like, everyone else already has their books and shit. I'm fucking failing, because I don't have the book. Like, my environmental science class, my speech class, I'm fucking failing those two right now, because I don't have the goddamn book. So he wants me to turn in, like, blackboard stuff for the book, and then he wants me to do, like, a worksheet for the book. My math, te- my science teacher does for environmental earth, science teacher, Jesus, whatever, for environmental earth, he wants me to do that shit, and then my speech class, he just wants me to finish this stuff every week, and I can't fucking do it, because I don't have money, I can't buy the damn book! You know what, man, you know how my, you know how my college works? You know how my college works? If you rent a book, you have to have a fucking credit card. Or a debit card to rent a damn book. You know how expensive it is to rent a book? It's like, it's only like $100 off the book. So my environmental science book, to buy it outright, it's 177 bucks. 177 fucking bucks to buy it. And I could buy it in cash, but you can't buy it with it. And you can't rent it with a, you can't rent it with cash. Which is fucking stupid. The only reason they don't want you to rent it with cash is because if you don't turn it in, then they'll charge your debit card or whatever the full amount. And even when you do rent the book, it's only seventy-seven bucks. It took a hundred bucks off of it. My public speaking book for my for my speech class. Guess what? It's not even a fucking book. It's fucking pages that are three hole punched, and they call it a book. That is fucking ridiculous. That's a two hundred dollar fucking book, and you can't. You have to buy it. You can't fucking rent it. That is fucking stupid. And that just pisses me off. I have no one else to talk to about this shit because my mom doesn't want to hear it and she fucking starts it on my ass about it. Like, oh, it's not that bad. And complains about it and shit. And I'm fucking, it's just, goddamn. I'm sorry for all the cursing, but fuck. The colleges really do set you up to fail when you're poor. They really fucking do. There, so you next to hear the fucking truck. So that, that's pissing me the fuck off. So that's that. I'm sorry if the game value has been super low. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, so it's not even a fucking book. It's just three hole punch, and you're supposed to have a binder for it. Really? For like 200 bucks? So, yeah, I'm just not happy with college right now. Because I literally, with the way that everything's set up, and how much stuff my weekends are full and shit, and my mom doesn't like me to leave the house, like, I'm going to walk anyway. When I do a lot of walking, right, my fucking knee pops out of place. Like, it dislocates itself. And then I can't walk for like three days. I'm immobile. So, like... So, like, I literally can't fucking go to the library. The public library, because my weekends are full. And my mom is busy. She has to fucking work until, like, 9 p.m. From, like, 1 to 9. And I don't get up till, like, 7. I get up at 7. But still, like, and and then, then even if I do, I only get two hours a day. That's fucking, it's fucking pointless. It really is. (laughs) And I don't have my money yet. And then my mom doesn't want to take out a loan, and I'm like, hey, mom, guess what? My fucking loan is going to take, like, I'm trying to tell her this, and she just doesn't want to listen. I'm like, mom, the loan's going to take, like, a month to go through. You know, it probably is with the way that everything else is going right now. It's taking financial aid fucking a month and a half, and they're still, it's still not here. So... You know, no email about it at all. No fucking email at all. Um, then they wanted me to set up this fucking bank account for my college. They wanted me to set it up because they're they're partnering with this bank. So I, I set up a bank account. No money is in it. I check my fucking transaction logs and everything. Nothing's in it. 
no message from financial aid, fucking nothing about my Pell Grant that I accepted like two weeks ago. So, quite literally, my college is literally setting me up to fail. <laughs> literally. And then my, my teacher, my fucking speech teacher, he thinks it's so funny. He's like, somebody's got to fail. It's true. Somebody's got to fail. You can't pass everybody. But it's not fucking funny when you're the one sitting there stuck and you can't fucking do nothing about it. Like, I can't fucking do nothing about me failing right now. I can't fucking do anything about it. And, like... Here's a problem, too. For my speech class, I'm in a group. So we're going to have to start having group meetings. And I guess what? I really can't fucking do those. And it's just... It's fucking amazing. How teachers expect me to do all this shit at home. And I fucking can't. Because financial aid... And my grant and stuff isn't coming through yet. So I'm literally just... They're literally just taking their fucking... Their fucking arm. And they're just fucking anal fisting me with their goddamn arm. They're fucking ass raping my poor... Yeah, they're just fucking ass raping me pretty much. My poor ass... It's fucking ridiculous. It is. And then they, they're sitting there like, yeah, man, if you really want to pass, you have to do work outside of class. How the fuck am I supposed to do it? I can't. God damn. So, yeah, guys, I'm probably going to have to owe the fucking state money. Oh, well. God damn. I can't fucking do this shit. I thought college was going to be a lot more fun. I mean, college is fun, don't get me wrong, but god damn, it is not fun. It is not fun. It is fun, but it isn't. That's how my college life is going, guys. I'm pretty much getting fucked. Not to mention, in like, let's see. Since today's the 8th in like 10 days, I have about 40 to 41 days to get a magical certain amount of money. I don't know how much money I need because my mom won't tell me, so. I really didn't want to talk about this a whole bunch, but I gotta talk to about somebody. So, like, October 18th, if we don't pay the state money, my house is no more. I will not have a house. I will no longer have a house if I don't come up with that money, and my mom just thinks, okay, whatever. And she thinks it's totally fine. Like, I don't know how to get a student loan. Okay? I've never done, like, a ton of shit. Like, I'm sure I can ask around for it and get a paper for it. But I don't want to do it, because then it's just going to piss her the fuck off. But the problem is, it, the student loan is probably going to take a motherfucking month to go through anyway. So it's like, what the fuck? I don't know, <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I'm stuck in a fucking rock and a hard place. <laughs> I'm literally fucking stuck. I'm literally, st I'm literally fucking stuck between my ho my house, the government, and my fucking school. I'm stuck in between them with no fucking way out. And it's a ton of fun, not really, I fucking hate my life right now. Um. So that's that, yeah, that's life, man. Life is fucking fun. So. I'm gonna gather up quite a bit of sand. Okay, that's enough sand. They just kept pumping more sand into me. I was like, no, I'm good. I lost all my sand. Good, 12 G's is good. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop after this. So, 
hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope my rambling didn't annoy you guys too much. Um, I'm going to upload this as soon as possible. So, I'm going to probably go play Dark Souls 2 while I wait for this to upload. And then I'm going to fix myself food and stuff. And then go watch a movie afterwards, after I after I start fixing my food. So, I don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope my rambling didn't annoy you guys too much. Um, and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys pretty much in the next video. Well, I mean, I'm still going to drop this off first, so. Yeah, 40 minute, 41 minute video. 42 minute, actually. Um, and like I said, guys, so please comment. If you like the video, like it. Also, if you like the video, go subscribe. If you're not subscribed, if well, I mean, if you are subscribed, then hit that notification, hit that bell icon, because like I said, uploads are always random for me. I can't get on a schedule for uploading. It doesn't work, because things change. Um, so if you're not subscribed, Please subscribe, if you want to. Uh, if you don't know if you should subscribe, go back and watch some of my other videos. And think about subscribing. And if you do, make sure you hit the notification. <laughs> the bell icon. Um, so yeah, please leave a comment down below. Because I, I, I like comments more than I do likes on a video. So comments are more important to me right now. Even though to some people I'm sure that sounds really stupid. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, see you guys next time.